So let's talk about food and uh, your relationship with it. I have been the type of person, even kid, I, I've always loved food. I have always cleaned my plate and went for seconds um, to the point where, especially on my grandmother's rice and gravy, taking my fingernail and like scraping every single bit of gravy off of that plate. I always laugh and say like, you know, I don't trust another woman unless she eats, right? And I also say that I could eat any man under the table. Like I really enjoy food. Um, as I've gotten older and dug into my health more, I am more interested in foods that are life-giving uh, because when I feed myself with those foods, my energy is through the roof. And I, I'm really interested in that because of my children and my family. So I, it's a balance for me. I brought on um, Sarah Raggy. Uh, who I've introduced you guys to. She's all over the Reshape website. Um, and she really helped me. It was like a therapy session when I first started talking about food, um, what were my weaknesses, what were my cravings, what were my issues, what I loved, what I did not want to give up. Um, and all the time, like, and I wanted to be fully satisfied. She put a specific routine into place, explained to me more about the foods that's going to really serve my body. Um, and that has really been such a gift to me because I had so much thought and not anxiety, but maybe that around food, when I was going to eat, what I was going to cook for the kids, that, that just sort of, she took that off of my, my shoulders, that worry. And now I, I already know what I need to do. Um, I do think when you make, I don't believe in depriving yourself. Let's just say that. I have chocolate every single night uh, or some sort of sweet. I do believe in balance. I do think that when I am feeding myself, again, these life-giving foods, whether it's, you know, greens or foods that are not processed as much, I feel differently and I crave that feeling. Um, and making those swaps, like I never, what I have learned is not to ever feel deprived. Uh, when I feel like I'm depriving myself, I totally go overboard and, you know, eat way more than I should and go down that rabbit hole, right? So I, I try, I have tried to find like these really healthy swaps that are still very fulfilling to me and um, delicious. And it is gonna be a little bit for you about, you know, a little trial and error and experimenting with your recipes and finding those things you love and maybe even using different ingredients. Um, but that has something that has been a huge shift in my life, I would say in the past 10 years and it's changed the shape of my body. It's changed my energy level. It's changed my digestion. It's, it's, it's this huge factor. It's a huge factor in my life. So um, I, just, I just wanted to share that with you. You don't have to, you could still enjoy all the beauties uh, and all the enjoyments of food and gathering and dining. Um, without feeling guilty. It's really just a balance.